The reason I'm making this video is because in the comments of my last video, there was a girl who requested proper self-improvement advice. In preparation for this video, I watched girl self-improvement videos and I think they're just trash. Like, this won't help anyone. I'm not gonna say any specific channel names, but I just think that that male self-improvement is much more promoted than female self-improvement. And I want to help you in this video if you're a girl. So if you're a guy, you can still watch, of course, if you find it enjoyable. But this will be a video that is just for women. Now, everything the girl that I watched talked about was how to feel good. I'm gonna, in this video, teach you a specific self-improvement routine for women that won't make you masculine, that will keep you feminine and even help you become more feminine. Now, I will basically make this a self-improvement thing of not the opposite of what men should do, but I'm going to make it in this way in which you just become more natural. Going to see what I mean as soon as we get to the habits. But first, let's talk about the why. Women are under immense pressure. Society tells them be a man, but men tell them be a woman, be feminine, because I want a mass, because I'm sorry, because I want a feminine woman. So they're just torn between becoming this businesswoman, becoming the feminist girl, and becoming a quote-unquote real woman. Or actually not quote-unquote. Let's not talk like this. Let's not talk like this, this bullshit thing. I will not hold my tongue on this for any longer because I have seen women suffer from this. I've seen women with poor mental health crying on the phone or whatever because they were made too masculine. And for men, it's good, but for women, it's a horrible, horrible life to having to be masculine. It is not natural for a woman to having to be disciplined and to having to do this constantly. Therefore, I think that self-improvement advice of women, everything I've seen of it is wrong. It's literally leading you into a trash life that you don't want. You don't want to be that bossy girl who's trying to impress people and who's trying to actually be a man. You don't want to be this. And just be honest with yourself. What I say is right. I know I'm going to sound sexist in this video, but I don't care if I can help you. I'm going to sound whatever I need to sound like. I don't like to mess around too much. I don't like to talk too much about why we do stuff. So let's now get into the habits. The first habit is meditation. Meditation helps anyone. I think it would even help animals if they meditated. So the first step is you download an app called Medito and you're gonna follow the, the segment of your daily. So if they mean your daily meditation, you just click on it, you select the, 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 the audio type, women, man, whatever, and then you click on the length. Now, I would recommend you start with three minutes and literally just focus on that. It's like doing one push-up. It's progress and you get to try it. It doesn't matter how long you meditate in your first session. Your first session is your first session and it will set you one session apart from all the people in your life. Think of your girl uh, friend group right now. None of them have ever meditated in their entire lives. I could challenge this point right now, go over to you <laughs> if I knew you and just ask the girls in your friend group, did you ever meditate? And they will probably all say, no, 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 no. You're weird for saying this. Go away. Meditation is weird. Meditation has saved my life. Okay. Two years ago, I was struggling with porn overuse. I couldn't have one day where I wasn't, where I wasn't watching porn for hours. I jerked off every single day and meditation helped me out of it. What meditation can help you with, because you might not necessarily have a porn problem, because in women it's way less common. But if you have this, it will help you with this. But as but the main reason I'm telling you to meditate here is because women's mental health is horrible. Society has told women, don't be like don't don't be feminine essentially because what society needs think about what they need that they need more workers we definitely we desperately need more workers to work in construction to work in corporate we need more workers because we have more people and we need to supply more people with more stuff so we need more people to work now what's the smartest move we can make 
we can either make more men, which is difficult, or we can simply tell the women, oh, you, you're just like a man. You're empowering by having a quote unquote regular job. You are empowering by getting a masculine job. You are empowered if you get a construction worker job. This has ruined women's mental health. And I'm not telling you that you shouldn't get a job or if you get a job, you are instantly not a woman anymore. I'm not saying this, right? But what I'm saying here is that society and what society tells women to be is highly, highly intoxicating for their mental health. And the fastest way to get away from this is meditation. So I again call you to meditate for I would say 10 minutes a day are enough. I personally like to med meditate for 20 minutes. Um, you can meditate as long as you want to. It's something you can spam. But for me, after 20 minutes, it doesn't really have an additional effect. Now let's talk about the next thing, which is nature. If you are much in nature, and I've experienced this myself, you are more like your gender, right? You are more natural to that. And what I'm trying to say here is I don't know specific ways to become more feminine, although there might be some, but I know ways on how to be more natural. And if you're a woman, feminine is natural for you. Do you get what I'm saying here? So the more natural you behave, the more feminine you ultimately become. So the more natural you act for, for women, the more feminine you will be. And what the first call of action for me would to be if I wanted to become more natural is to literally get in nature more is to put the phone away because the phone is an unnecessary stimulus. And I'm going to tell you how to get your phone away because phone addiction is a giant thing with women, a giant thing. And meditation also helps with this. But let's first talk about nature. If you are in nature, you don't only have the benefits of oh, better air and, and sunlight and all of these things. You don't only have these small little benefits, but you also level your hormones. Your hormones get on a natural base. So for men, being in nature will literally increase their testosterone, while for women, it will increase estrogen because it's natural for them. If you are in a natural environment, you will become more natural. This is why cities have so many mental health problems, because the city is as far away from nature as you can get. Look at Finland, for example. Finland has a lot, has a lot of beautiful nature. People there are happier, which means better mental health. Why? Because they are more natural to what they truly and really are. So get into nature more. I would recommend if you really want to focus on this, go every single day for one hour. Now, this is negotiable. You can go every week for an hour. Everything that is more than what you do right now is progress. If you go this week for half an hour, next week, you go for two days for half an hour. The next week after that, you go for three days for half an hour. Now, you don't need to increase the time you go there. You can just have a higher frequency because that's what really matters. You could go on the weekend for five hours to in, into nature and that would be equal to going into for going one hour every single day in the week. You might think that, but it's not true. If you go every single day for one hour, it's better than going on one day for five hours or for seven hours even. So go as frequently as you can. It's better to go for 20 minutes. 10 minutes, five minutes every single day than for an hour a week. Go into nature as much and as frequently, frequency is the key here, as frequently into nature as you can. Now let's get to the next thing, which is how to get away from your phone addiction. This is also a notion to get you more natural and thereby more feminine. I'm gonna install an app called Minimalist Phone Launch. I'll have an icon of the app here and I'll have a link to the app in the description of this video. It's for iOS and for Android and I think it's free for both. I know for sure it's free for iOS and I don't know for sure if it's free for Android. It's a great app and it helped me become less addicted to my phone because you see the app basically turns your home screen into a dumb phone. And what it does, it basically puts all these addictive colors aside. You see, natural colors aren't as addictive as unnatural colors. If you look at the red of the badge, um, when, when you get a text message, right, the, 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 the small little circle and the little one 
like the number above WhatsApp or Instagram or something, that red is specifically designed to make you click on it. It makes you want to click on it. This is why when when people have like high notification stats, right? They have like 50 messages on WhatsApp or something. It's crazy to some people because they think like, oh, how, how can they hold themselves back? And the minimalist app does two things. It removes the app icon. So you just have text there saying WhatsApp. And you also will have will not have these badges so you will not have these these little ones and and with the fucking circle and with a dot in there with that red you will not have that you will only have whatsapp you click on it and then you get on there the the way you set this up because it's a little bit confusing in the beginning you download the app then you go on to adding things in and then you have to download the app shortcuts for some specific apps i had to download it for two apps and on shortcuts, you literally just click on there and you click add shortcuts. It's really easy, but it's a little bit confusing in the beginning. So just follow the instructions of a YouTube tutorial that explains it better than me right now. But um, it's pretty straightforward. You just click add then you look for the apps you want. Then you look for the apps you want to add. I think you can add six and this promotes many many things it promotes you choosing what apps you actually want it promotes that you are less addicted to those apps and it basically promotes that you are less like oh i'm in a group setting uh of women and i don't know what to say right now so I just pull up my phone just click on instagram a little bit and that's bad for your mental health obviously that's that's highly detrimental it's weird for your body to be like this it's weird for your body to be hunched over it's weird for your body to not be social so women by default are way more social than men men can be alone it's okay for men and this is why self-improvement and starting self-improvement for women is way much more harder because self-improvement yes it will cost you a couple friends but ask any of your guy friends ask any of them you can right now go into the comment section and if there is a man he will he will not comment. So if you're a man, you have to do this right now. Comment if you would rather have a woman who has much friends and be honest with this or a woman who has no friends. I myself would want no friends. I would want that my girl has maybe a couple good friends, right? A couple, maybe one or two good female friends, but not like I have 50 friends and 10 of them are guys. So it's it's much more attractive to men if women are purer and this is the whole message of this video be pure for men if you have a hard decision to face and you don't know what to do i would tell you take the brave choice if you as a woman have have a difficult choice to take and you don't know what to do i would advise you to take the pure choice so take the choice that will be natural to you as a woman What I want you to do now and what basically makes this video work is doing this, but you also need to spread this. So if you have an Instagram channel, if you have a YouTube channel, get this out there because the way male self-improvement grew is people basically started posting about it because they wanted to make a business out of it. And you need to kind of have the same approach. You need to kind of think, okay, yeah, I want to spread this, maybe not for business sake, but for your sister's sake so do this for your sisters you record a video of yourself and upload that to a youtube channel just so it's more likely to be on their feed and you make a video about how self-improvement helped you and about how self-improvement made you a better woman and you post that video onto every social media you have you spread this message you make as many people know this as possible you can start this but you can also stop this by not doing this maybe if you are the only girl who watches this maybe if you post a video about this maybe if you post a video hey i, I started the self-improvement thing it's great try it out here are the steps that you can do here are like the little things i will explain to you and you basically put this out and then another girl um, finds this and maybe shows it to her friends and then sh and then their friends see, okay, yeah, shit, this makes sense. And then they post it. So you can pretty much start the female self-improvement and basically support your sisters just by sending this video to a female friend of yours or by making a video yourself. 
it will be much better to make a video of yourself but if you don't really feel like doing that it's completely okay if you feel a little bit insecure and stuff i totally understand that just put this video up everywhere you can just post it just send it to people we need to make this big because because the main reason men quit self-improvement and i also need to talk about men when talking about women because men and women are made to be together god made men and women he didn't just make a man full stop and then women <laughs> he made men and women so they can cooperate and work together and society has kindled this out of us and you can stop this right now by making this idea of female self-improvement bigger and then men will see okay yeah not all women are hoes some of them are good and then they will decide for the self-improvement women and then all the women will decide to be on self-improvement this is the big mission that i have in my head right now so this video could literally be the starting point of female self-improvement if you as a woman want this send this video to a female friend who needs it and make a video yourself if you feel like doing that now have a nice day and enjoy your life